Hello again and welcome back to the next part of the character modeling tutorial. I'm Daniel and let's continue our project. So when we left off we were working on we were working on the legs and we want to finish that this time. So you see I did now extrude the inner regions of the leg and I'll use the new structures to um, find the, the new shapes that we have to recreate here. I'll add another loop cut and use it to fill this evenly with the structure that we created last time. So when you view it from the bottom you want to make sure that this is kind of um, round and not too distorted. <coughs> we'll have to um, do some adjustments on that, but again make sure to not destroy too much of your previous um, efforts on shaping this body right. Um, that would be bad. Um, looks good so far though. I will add another loop cut here because we need some detail. And now this loop goes a bit different. It will make a kind of this uh, this curve here, and it will then go down. We can just extrude it over and over this one vertex, and it should be good. Okay, we have now quite a lots of. What is this over here? Let's see whether we can do something about that. Um, first of all, let's um, distribute some of them and... Or what? Wait a second. <laughs> my English is... I, I'm confused about my English. Anyways, um, what you want to do is spread them and make sure that they're even everywhere and there the density of those is not too the difference between that is not too extreme <coughs> um, so this is a bit troublesome because we have quite a different uh, situation on the sides that we have to connect uh, which makes things harder but with when putting some thought into it you can find out always solutions. I'll try something here for example to see if this could help us and I think it might do exactly what I want. Um, and hmm, Not easy at all. <laughs> I have difficulties explaining it but basically what you have to do is um, you, you know this is the goal, the thing that you're trying to achieve, uh, this kind of shape, because the legs should start from a kind of circle shape. Uh, the only thing I noticed is that the number of vertices down here is not even, and to fix that, I have to add another one in here somewhere. So if we count the vertices again, it should be eight now, and Indeed, it's eight. So we have to connect uh, all of these somehow. Find out a way to do that without having triangles and without um, losing the or or um, yeah, without losing any of the information of our reference. We have to. We should capture it all in the three D model. Um, So I guess with some extrusions and such, you manage to. And actually, uh, I wouldn't be too worried at this point about the topology, thinking about it, uh, because who knows how much we are going to adjust later on. I mean, the plan is to use this uh, for sculpting. Uh, we'll probably, I mean, it's not sure yet, uh, but we might have to re-topologize it anyways. Um, but I hope not actually. I think there are ways around it. We'll see those, we'll figure those kind of things out when we are 
uh, at those later on. Um, yeah, but these kind of things can be troublesome. But you see, we kind of managed. It's it's not so good. We'll fix that. Actually, I'm not satisfied with that. We somehow have to get in here another loop. But the thing is, it's kind of a spiral. You can't add another loop here because the more loops you add here, the more you have to connect with it. So we have no choice but to slowly uh, make these disappear into nowhere. <laughs> uh, for example, like that. Now we have only one too much and we might be able to just get rid of it like that even though that's not a very good idea, but again, let's not be troubled too much from that. We can, what we can do is to uh, keep this vortex for another um, loop and connect them here to uh, have it a bit more even. Um, it looks okay to me. I, I guess at this point I can live with the result. Um, hopefully later we'll improve it, uh, but that's not too bad anyways. Alright, just make sure from all the views that uh, what you've modeled has actually the right shape. Uh, you can also always go to some of the views to adjust it. For example, you see the radius here was quite off. Uh, but also make sure not to rely too much on the references because, I mean, they're hand-drawn, so what do you expect <laughs> too much from it? Um, yeah, they, they, there's no way that the references, the drawn ones, can be uh, that exact. So you have to put quite some thinking into it as well. Uh, like, how would it look like if it was a real sculpture and things like that? For example, I'm ignoring the fact that the leg is not, not so thick for now uh, and I'll continue using it as it is and see later on whether it's a problem or not. <coughs> okay, um, I guess this challenge is now kind of completed. Um, In the next part, we're going to add some final details on the body. Um, we'll see how much we have to add all over the place. I mean, it's still quite low poly. We need some. We need to add some more details. Uh, once that's done, we'll be able probably in the in the part after that uh, start sculpting in some details and have our first part finished, which is going to be yeah, basically the body. Uh, without hands and legs and everything else. Uh, that's the plan. Thank you for watching again and see you next time.